Oh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. Oh, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. I'm playing the PTP right now. Let's just get right into it. So what are the perks? We have Unbound. God, this thing looks so... Oh... This perk activates for 30 seconds after the survivor becomes injured by any means. After vaulting a window, you gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. This fight cannot stack with itself. Oh, that that perk sounds... Oh, man, that perk sounds really underwhelming. Unforeseen. When you perform the break action on a generator, your terrorist transfers the generator for 30 seconds, and the radius set to 32 meters. You gain undetectable for that duration, and then this perk goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is like the worst time a perk like this could be in the game because Trail of Torment got shadow buffed and I think Trail of Torment is still gonna be better than this. We'll see. Undone. When Survivor miss, misses a healing or repairing skill check, gain three tokens up to 30. When you perform the break action on generator, if you have any tokens, consume all of them. For each token consumed, the generator loses 1% total progress and becomes blocked for one second. Then once the generator is on block, it starts regressing. Okay, well... Impossible skill check, Doctor and Fred, you're gonna eat with that one. Let's see what the power is. So they're average, 32 meters, normal killer speed, 15%, average height. Okay, I don't know about that. Uvix. Press the power button to charge Uvix. Once ready, press the attack button to launch Uvix, a bouncing projectile which creates a blast area upon impact. Survivors become hindered if they touch Uvix while airborne. Survivors touching the blast area become weakened. Weakened survivors lose health states and touch by blast area. Survivors lose weakened by successfully staring down the unknown. Special ability, hallucinations. The unknown, oh, it's called the unknown. Oh, that's what that means, okay. Will intermittently create hallucinations. Hallucinations cannot be created while charging Uvix, performing interactions or approximating maps like hooks. Whenever a survivor touched by blasters or otherwise become weakened, the next hallucination spawn time decreases by 10 seconds. The unknown can teleport to hallucinations, leaving behind a temporary decoy. Survivors can remove hallucinations from the trial with the dispel ability. Weakened survivors take longer to dispel. If dispel is not completed, survivors become weakened and trigger killer instinct. Okay, I don't know what the hell this means. Oh, dude, this thing looks like, uh... Oh, that is, like, terrifying, actually. Like, it's hair. What does this hair remind me of? It looks like some character that... What the hell? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. Uh, we're just having a Morion. We're just gonna see what the power is. I guess I'll... While this is loading... Okay, never mind. I was gonna put Corrupt Intervention on or something like that. This thing is so weird. This is not at all what I thought it was going to look like, by the way. Like, I honestly thought it was going to be, like, a Wendigo or something. It doesn't even look like a Skinwalker or anything. I did send myself to the new map, by the way, so look forward to that. <clears throat> all right. Okay, so we have- oh, 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 god. This thing is so weird. This is the new map, by the way, so there's a killer shack. Ooh, it's kind of cool. Charge Uvix. Oh, what the f- Brick? Oh my god, there's lag in the custom servers? Yo, this map actually looks sick, though. This map looks really cool. Like, it actually has, like, horror. Okay, let's just see what the hell this thing does. No, right, I'm gonna tunnel a bot, if you guys don't mind, so I can immediately get the Mori on and going. Okay, so... We want to shoot this thing, right? Why? The bots are, like, crouching already. Oh. Okay, so I hit Bill. Oh, the chase music, though. I don't know what that's doing. Oh, there's a decoy right there. Oh, because he sees a hallucination. Okay. Okay, this is the animation. Alright, nothing too special here. Okay. I... Okay, I don't know... What the hell is he talking about? Okay. I am trying to understand. Oh, God. There's a main building? I didn't know that. 
So now we can teleport to that decoy. So how is it chilling there for a while? Ooh, dude, this thing is. What is that, bro? That, bro, this is creepy. I feel like I'm playing a horror game as a killer. This map is sick, though. This map is really cool. Oh, hello. It wouldn't let me shoot it. I don't want to be chased by this thing. Just say, I don't want to be chased by this thing. This thing sounds so creepy. So that hinders, apparently, right? Or if they're... Yeah, that's hindered, isn't it? It looks like it is. Well, okay, this guy can actually probably have some pretty good map control, actually. The bots aren't going for the save. Okay, now they are, but now I can teleport over there. And there's like a... This, they leave a lot of stuff around. That is quick. That's actually very quick. Oh, yeah, I forgot the bots have dead art. Uh, let's see. Lurking. You get a lot of points for this guy. Okay. Okay, again, like, on first impression so far... It seems pretty creepy, like, very cool. Like, I can play this guy, playing this guy immersive is gonna be really fun. Okay, so why can I not teleport? Okay, there we go. How far can you launch this thing? That was not a hit. There's probably gonna be an add-on that makes it that's bigger, right? Ugh. Okay. Bill got saved again. We're gonna go tunnel this guy, the obsession. So what dictates if I can teleport or not? Maybe when someone gets unhooked, they're all in cooldown? <laughs> what, dude, is that like my penis or something? Like, what is that? Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have to do the Mori in this room, right? Okay, let's pick this guy up. Let's see where we put him. We'll do the Mori in, like, the arcade-looking area. Like, that's over here, right? Dude, this map actually looks kind of sick. Let's do it in here. Alright, let's see what this Mori is about. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, dude, that's got to be the best one by far. Wait, does that mean I'm using my power? Do I go, like, on all fours on their screen? Yo, that's actually kind of dope, though. Okay, so the power is very interesting. It says, like, I can, like, weaken them if I hit them again, right? I don't know, like, 100% what that means. Okay, so there is, like, a cooldown. Bro, what the hell? That's so... I don't even know, like, half of these audio cues. This is interesting. All right, we have this guy right here. <laughs> what even is this thing? So what happens if I hit him again? Like, does he become injured? Let me see. Oh, wait, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Wait, can you down with them? Can you, oh, in a, oh, whoops, my bad. Oh my god, you can use that during chase. Oh my god, so you can actually kind of use it like dredge in a way. Wait, what? Why was that a miss? Wait, so you can actually use it like dredge. Like, okay, so... Huh, I'm trying to think of like... I know, I read like the power, right? So there's someone over here, right? Why, why is that one there? It's not from the same guy. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's going to be a lot easier against online players, but... That miss. Oh, wait, no, no, it hit him a little bit. He oh, it showed him being... You saw that. There was, like, stuff on, like, his outfit. <laughs> obviously, it's going to be a lot easier against players, but, okay, I can kind of see. I need to see if you can down with the power, though.
There we go. So we hit him. Let's see if we can down him. You actually do get the power pretty quickly. You can actually down with it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we'll end it here. Okay, so that's the killer power. Okay, let me read more. Oh, dude, what the hell is this thing? This thing is creepy, though. Like, it's very creepy. What build was I running on this bot, so? Okay, let's read the add-ons. We'll read the power again to see if there's anything. So now that we know the power. Now that we know the power. Okay, so press. Okay, charge. That's what that is. Bouncing projectile. It's, it says a bouncing projectile. I've never saw it bounce. Which, oh, maybe on walls, on walls. So maybe you, okay, I, that's probably what it is. Survivors become hindered if touched by UVX while airborne. Okay. So, I, okay, so that's, okay. So the strategy is that you want to shoot it at the survivor. Maybe it, it goes through them, then it bounces back into them and then explodes on the floor. I think that's what you want to do. The blast area become weakened. Weakened survivors lose health states if touched by the blast area. Survivors lose weakened by successfully staring down the, I don't know what, by looking at me? <coughs> I don't know about you, I'm not looking at this thing. Uh, okay, hallucinations are actually really sick. So, it, as you saw, how you see how quick that teleport was? That's gotta be one of the best forms of mobility in the game right now. If you can do it consistently. Survivors are touched by blast areas, or otherwise become... Oh, wait, actually, no, because they can get rid of it. They can dispel it, right? Yeah, so they can be removed by dispel. So, it's not that good, because it's in the hands of survivors. Survivors become weakened and trigger killer... Oh, if this... Oh, if dispel is not complete. Survivors become weakened... Okay, so they have to do something about it? So, it... So they lose weakened by looking at me. So if you actually hit and run this killer, you might actually be able to get away with it. Okay, let's look at the add-ons then. Okay, so we have hit by stuff from Oblivious. Okay, uh, blood pools appear bright when when charging. Survivors injured suffer from hemorrhage for for thirty seconds. Ooh, that's terrible. That's almost useless actually. Survivors who are both weakened and injured suffer deep wounds. That's oh when they dispel hallucination. Okay, after teleporting, regain full movement speed fifty percent faster. That's going to be pretty good. Actually, it doesn't even feel like you need that. Or maybe you do. I don't know. It didn't feel like it hit that much. When a survivor successfully stares out in the unknown, unknown gets killer instinct. That sounds really good, actually. <coughs> triggers, uh, triggers a blast area upon contact. Oh, okay. So you can snipe people. Can be destroyed by UVX. Doing so decreases the time to... Okay. Survivors hit by UVX while airborne stuff are hindered for five... I thought I already did that. Five seconds? I'm guessing it's just more than normal. Decreases the hallucinations or range that is visible to survivors by 25%. Okay. Okay, so they can actually see the hallucinations. I think that sucks because now it's not scary anymore because they can see it. Enter the orange of hallucinations suffer from oblivious. That's actually kind of cool. Who complete generators become weakened again. Oh. Wow, that's actually an interesting. Hit by UVX while airborne suffer exhaustion for 10 seconds. That's okay. Forming the break interaction on a pallet or brick ball decreases the time to the next hallucination response by 50%. That sounds pretty good. Decreases the time to the next solution spawns by 50 seconds of because weakened. That sounds very good. Survivors damage uh, the Uvix's blast area suffer from broken status effect. Okay. So that's kind of like the singularity add-on. Survivors within hallucinations or a range suffer from exhausted 10 seconds. That's okay. Uh, not really. It's not good. Uh, <clears throat> triggers for 20 seconds following a teleport. Survi uh, increases oh, oh, 30%. Dude, that's actually sick. I'm going to be running that. Survivors who dispel hallucinations suffer from the blindness for 45 seconds. It's pretty bad for a purple. Doubles the UVX projectile's bounce strength. See, I don't know anything about that. Decreases teleport cooldown by 5 seconds. The decoy left behind after the unknown teleport. Stay seconds long as it disappears. When we created the decoy, has the same charity as the red snake. Oh, wow. Really? That's, that's going to be my favorite add-on. That's awesome. Whoa. Takes 10 seconds longer to disappear. Dude, that's actually cool. You can actually create a very scary strategy with that. Survivors begin the trial weakened. That's very good. Decreases the maximum number of hallucinations that can spawn by one. How many can spawn? As you saw in that match, like, I already had, like, four or five down already. Maybe, maybe I'm guessing you can have ten down? Because it's four survivors, right? So, obviously, it would be twelve. That would make the most sense. But I'm guessing it's going to be eight is probably the most you can have. Well, this is, this is going to be a quick video, so I hope you guys enjoy. This thing is absolutely terrifying. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be. It, it looks like a cartoon character, even with the white outfit. I know, I can't put my finger on what it could be but I hope you guys enjoy i will be making builds of this guy the next build is gonna be a stealth build scaring people so i hope you're looking forward to that